Hey guys, RPM here. Hope you're all doing well and having a really great day. In this video, I'm going to be comparing two identical RTX 3080s and these are specifically both Zotac Trinity models. But the difference here is that I have a 3080 non-LHR and then this one right here is a LHR. 3080. I'm curious to know, I'm going to be testing a lot of different coins in terms of the power consumption with let's say Ethereum or maybe Mining Flux or Ravencoin and I actually have two of these PMD power measuring devices which we will measure and have on both graphics cards at the same time in Hive OS and I want to see the, I guess, essentially hash rate difference and also the big thing, power difference. Thank you to mineshop.eu for sending me this 3080 Trinity OC edition LHR RTX 3080 for me to test against a non LHR 3080. And just to clarify, I just want to make sure we got the same model. Yeah, like this is exactly, they have the exact same coolers, okay? Going from the non-LHR to the LHR Zotac Trinity looks the exact same. And I just wanted to verify the back as well. Looks pretty similar to be honest. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly the same. They both have two eight pins for power. All right guys, I'm gonna plug this in my test bench and I will show you guys the Ethereum hash rate and power consumption first comparison. Let's do it. Okay, here are the two 3080s. This is the LHR and this is the non-LHR. You can see my power consumption for the non-LHR is about 240 watts, 245 watts at the PMD. And then the LHR one is at 235, 30 watts or so. And this is the hash rate that we can achieve on both of these cards. So obviously the LHR one's getting 75 mega hash. That's about the LHR 74, 75 using T-Rex Miner. And we're getting the usual 100 mega hash on the non-LHR 3080. I'm using the exact same overclocks in Hive OS. And yeah, we're using the absolute core clock of 1120 and 2400 memory on both. Fan is at 100 and of course, I also noticed that the fan, when I had it at 100 or even at like 60 or 40, percent fan that the power consumption did go up quite a bit so uh, I would say another 10 watts or so so we are using a little bit more power just because of having the fans at 100 but you guys can see roughly we're taking about the same power consumption uh, the LHR card obviously on Ethereum is hindered because it's you know the moniker LHR light hash rate is being hindered on mining Ethereum. So we're at 75 mega hash, and then of course the non-LHR, which this Zotac non-LHR I got maybe a year and a half ago, it was great, right? It was great buying these back then, but of course the past, I would say half year, maybe seven months ago as of recording this video, it's you know the end of February, these LHR cards started coming out. And so, okay, so there we go. We know the difference in terms of the Ethereum. Now, let's switch to Ravencoin. Okay, we are getting about 49 to 48 mega hash on Ravencoin. So again, this one right here is the LHR and the other one here, the second one is the non-LHR. And we are using different overclocks for this one here. So you guys can see, using 150 core, 2000 memory, 280 PL for both of them. And I think a little bit of silicon lottery, the LHR looks like it is getting a little bit higher, maybe one mega hash higher than the non LHR. So the power consumption now, let's look at it. This is the LHR, about 280, 295 watts or so. Uh, both in the software says 280, okay? Now, the non LHR shows exactly the same. Yeah, same power consumption same hash rates but one's non-LHR and one is LHR but we can get the same hash rate and power consumption. You know what I've noticed actually the non-LHR one I have really bad thermals on this Trinity as Zotac really has terrible terrible thermal pads and so I need to either change the paste and the thermal pads and then Zotac's LHR GPU seems to be much better in thermals and hopefully they fixed they probably fixed having better thermal pads on the back and front 
as opposed to what they did before with the non-LHRs. That's one thing I've noticed, actually. So, all right, guys. So that's the Raven coin difference. Oh yeah, we're. I think we're getting some thermal throttling. That's for sure on this non-LHR. Okay, but anyways, confirmed. Power consumption is completely fine for both of these cards mining Raven coin. There's no. There's, not, there's basically no difference from the non-LHR and the LHR GPUs. Let's go ahead and try Flux next and see if there's any difference. Alright, we are mining Flux. Getting about 90.19 souls on the LHR. 89.15 souls on the non-LHR. Same settings in Hive OS, same power consumption in the software. Now, at the wall, at the PMD, the, the LHR is showing about, yep, 280, 290 watts. Looks like it's fluctuating a little bit. And then on the non-LHR, we are getting basically the same results. And it's fluctuating a lot as well, 280, 290 watts. Okay, so I see no difference. Flux seems to be totally fine. Again, my thermals seem to be much better on the LHR GPU, as I think Zotac must have fixed this GPU in terms of the uh, thermal pads and paste, <laughs> like I, I saw on Ravencoin, yeah, this one's getting a little bit hotter, so I think it's probably going to start thermal throttling here in a second. Yeah, 68 degrees now. Oof, it's getting hot. I even have a little fan on this non-LHR as well. Anyways, guys, let me go ahead and let's try another coin and see if, it's, uh, if there's any difference. Be right back. All right, I am trying dual mining, okay, Ethereum and Alethium. So, the LHR card, it's, of course, it's getting about 73 mega hash on Ethereum, 818 on Alethium. The non-LHR is getting 98.4 on Ethereum and 787 on Alethium. These are my overclock settings, the same settings I was using for Ethereum mining. And look at this, we have a little bit of a power difference here. I mean, that's a given because I guess that the LHR GPU is, it's not using more power because we're only at 73 mega hash, right? but the non-LHR GPU is at full hash rate of 98, but of course we can still get decent amount of a lithium hash rate, even though it's a little bit less than the LHR. I found that to be interesting. So 252 and 276. So if we go to the PMD for the non-LHR, we are using 280 watts, roughly. So pretty much what the software said. And at the LHR GPU, we are at two, 60, 260, yeah, 267, 265, it's fluctuating a lot, but it's less than the non-LHR, but of course the non-LHR is getting a lot more Ethereum hash rate, so I wonder what the efficiency level here is comparing the LHR to the non-LHR. I think one thing to think about though, if some people were thinking about buying these GPUs, the LHR, it's still efficient. And comparing it to a non-LHR, which if you guys seen the prices for these, it's, it's incredible how much more they cost versus the LHR cards. So, I mean, so far, as we know, with dual mining is enabled on these LHR cards and even, yeah, non-LHR as well, it, it makes these totally fine for mining, in my opinion. And look at that temperature difference on the LHR card for the Zotac. 3080. Mineshop.eu guys, if you guys are looking for a 3080 LHR, Mineshop.eu has them on their website. So go check it out. Should be still in stock if you guys are interested. Okay, so that was dual mining. I thought that was pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think about that. Let's try another coin. I don't know what I'm going to do next. Okay, next coin is Cortex and I'm using G Miner and there's, yeah, there's no difference. Uh, I've been testing a few different power clocks and uh, same overclocks though. 258 watts in the software at the PMD is also is also the same. It's it's fluctuating a lot actually at the LHR, and then at the non LHR it's a actually no that's fluctuating a lot as well. But otherwise we're getting the same hash rate, and it says it's the same power consumption, so no difference there for Cortex. All right, let's try a next coin. All right, next one is Ergo. Very, very efficient algorithm. And same overclocks, we're using 1120 absolute core clock, 1000 memory, 100 fan, that's it. We're getting 160 watts for the LHR, 
163 for the non-LHR, but we're getting 198 mega hash for both of the graphics cards. And at the PMD, let's just verify if it's the same power. So 165 to 168 watts at the LHR, and then at the non-LHR, we're using pretty much the exact same, 168, 170. It's fluctuating a bit. It looks like the LHR is a little bit better in power consumption on Ergo, but not by much, not by much. Okay, so that's Ergo. I'm gonna have to say, honestly, there's no difference. There's really no difference here. Oh, well, the power consumption's been fluctuating a bit. Oh, no, it looks like it went back down. Interesting, interesting. Okay, guys, that's Ergo. Let me try another coin. Okay, we are mining Conflux, and really a little bit of difference in power, but I'm gonna attribute that to maybe Silicon Lottery. I'm not quite sure. Same overclocks, same ones we used for Ergo, and at the PMD on the LHR shows 264, 65, 265. And at the non-LHR, we are showing a little bit higher in power consumption. 278, 280 watts. So it looks like the LHR is a little bit more efficient on Conflux, like by a little bit. I think this is a trend that we've been noticing on other algorithms as well on the LHR. I, I'm really, I'm gonna have to contribute that to maybe the temperatures of this non-LHR. I really, I really need to change the pads and I think probably redo the thermal paste. Just, I need to really take this card apart and get it back to normal temperatures. It's, it's, it's really bad. Zotac did really bad on the non-LHR cards like a year and a half ago, but you can see the temperatures on the LHR is way better, is way better. Thank you, Zotac. Thank you. You, you fixed, you fixed this GPU to have better thermals now. Uh, I guess that's much better if anyone's looking to buy. I guess I can recommend these cards for mining in terms of the thermals. You won't, you won't have any issues, basically. That should be pretty good. All right, guys, let's try another coin. I don't know what I'm gonna try next. Okay, we are mining Conceal, which is the Kryptonite GPU, CN GPU algorithm. And yeah, this, this algorithm is actually really efficient. I'm using Absolute Core Clock. We're getting about 2.8 kilohash on both of them and power consumption's a little bit better on the LHR, non-LHR, a little bit more power, according to the software. Okay, now at the PMD, the LHR is showing about 183 watts, okay? And then at the non-LHR, 183, 185 watts as well. I'm gonna say this GPU still takes a little bit more, but generally the same. I think plus or minus, oh wow, we, we gone up a little bit more in terms of the hash rate, 3.1 now. That's pretty good, okay. So anyways, guys, that's the conceal slash Rio. Rio is the same algorithm as well, so that's, that's pretty efficient. LHR can mine this coin, no problem. It's the exact same as a non-LHR by the looks of it. Okay, looks like the hash rate did drop down, but I don't notice any power difference. It's still the same. Okay, let me refresh one more time. It's probably just, yeah, I see now it's, now it's switched around. It's, it's, it's okay, yeah, it, there's no difference. I'm gonna say there's no difference. Okay guys, let's keep going. Let's try another coin. Okay, we are mining Firo, and I am deciding to try a different overclock setting, just Ethereum overclock setting, which is the absolute core clock of 1120, 1000 memory, and so you guys can see we're getting about 46.5, 46.5, the exact same. So the LHR is taking 260 watts and the non-LHR is taking about 273. And let's look at the PMD if it's true at the wall. 273, yep, that's right. And then at the non-LHR we are getting, oh, it looks like it's using a bit more, 284, 85 watts at the wall, okay? So, but honestly, plus or minus 3%, I, I, don't see, I don't see a big difference here in terms of mining Firo. Okay, so to finalize this video, I wanna give my conclusion regarding the 3080's 
both Trinities, the exact same models, except the difference is one is LHR and the other one is non-LHR. And just to conclude everything, I wrote everything down in a little Excel doc here, just to, just to give an overall, I guess, understanding of what the difference is between these. And really, the only difference that we found, as you guys saw earlier, is on Ethereum and dual mining Ethereum plus Alethium. So we did notice a bit of a difference, obviously, on Ethereum, as, you know, NVIDIA has hindered these cards to, you know, get a little bit less hash rate on Ethereum. And you guys notice here that the power consumption was definitely, it, it was noticeably less, but I would say it's still more efficient to mine Ethereum on the 3080 non-LHRs. Okay, and I do want to talk about, you know, the fact of buying these LHR cards because of what is coming up in the future with Ethereum moving to POS. I'll talk about that in a sec. But then dual mining here, we did notice a difference as well. Okay, so 73 mega hash and we were able to get 818 mega hash on a lithium. But there was a difference there for sure in Ethereum and uh, the power consumption as well. So, but otherwise though, Ravencoin, Flux, Cortex, Ergo, Conflux, Conceal, Firo, there was really no difference at all that we saw in terms of the hash rate and even the power consumption versus the non-LHR 3080 Trinity and the LHR 3080 Trinity. I mean, there was a little bit of a difference, a margin of error of like 3%, you know, plus or minus 3% or so. So that's, that's completely fine. There's, you know, silicon lottery of all the GPUs can be a little bit different. Power consumptions can be all different amongst GPUs, but generally we can say that, you know, okay, now talking about with, you know, Ethereum moving to proof of stake in the next, in this year, potentially, as I believe, as of right now, it is the end of February of 2022 as of recording this video. I believe it is completely fine to be buying LHR cards as the LHR does not affect these other algorithms, okay? Yes, it does affect Ethereum, right? It, it does affect the ETH hash algorithm but it does not affect the other ones that we see here, okay? And this is in terms of the LHR for the Zotac Trinity specifically. I have seen, it's some weird thing with the 3070s, maybe 3060 Ti's, different brands that do have some hindrance on other algorithms. I think I've seen on Ergo or Ravencoin. I do have identical Asus 3070s, non-LHR and uh, Asus Strix LHR. So I'm gonna do that in another video. I'm gonna compare those two GPUs and we're gonna see if the 3070s have any, you know, disparity amongst the different hash rates, exact same ones that we tested here on these Zotac cards. So guys, I think that's it. Honestly, again, I don't see any issue with buying 3080 LHRs for mining. As we know, all the other algorithms will be completely fine, but I guess it totally depends if any of these coins will go up in the future and be, I guess, essentially profitable to be mining if uh, you were to mine these coins or buy these coins instead of mining. But you guys have heard me talk about the strategy amongst, you know, buying GPUs rather than buying crypto. And uh, I have a video on that. You guys can go check that out. All right, my friends, let me know your thoughts and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out. I love these little PMD devices. If you guys are looking for one, go to Elmore Labs. All right, Google Elmore Labs. You can buy these little things. Awesome. Just awesome.